product labels can be really useful when it comes to choosing products. However, a lot of them make some really big claims and how do you know if the product is actually a good choice or if it's all part of a marketing ploy? I'm now going to talk you through some of the common terms that you will see on product labelling and what they may actually mean. The first misleading term you may commonly see is quite a clever one and it's when products label themselves as being light. Now immediately we think they're probably lower in calories or in fat, however often this isn't the case. Often that means that they're just lighter in texture, flavour or in colour and this is the case with some oils. The next point is when a product claims that it's baked, not fried. This immediately sounds like a much healthier option. However, it can still be just as high in fat. So it's another one to watch out for. The next one is another really common one. So no added sugar. Now, technically they haven't added any refined sugar to that product, but it doesn't mean that it's not naturally high in a lot of other sugars like fructose. This can be the case with fruit juice. Another really common claim that you'll see on products is reduced fat. Now this doesn't actually mean that that product has a low fat content. What it means is that it's 25% lighter than its standard counterpart of the same brand. So maybe just double check on the nutrition information panel at the back of the product. The next one is saying a product is low in fat. Again, this must mean that the product is below 3% fat. However, it doesn't mean that they haven't made up for that flavor by adding extra ingredients like sugar. Another one is saying a product is cholesterol free. This is a very clever one because no plant-based foods actually contain cholesterol. So a lot of oils, vegetable-based oils will make this claim and will detract you from the fact that it's still 100% fat. So just keep that in mind when a product does make that claim. A lot of products now claim that they are carb free or low in carbs. Now this is taking advantage of all those people who are trying to watch their weight. And basically a lot of people kind of connect that term with being low in calories. However, often this isn't the case. If something is low in carbs, it doesn't necessarily mean it's low in calories. So again, refer to that nutrition information panel and look at its energy content and fat content. The last one is when products claim that they are fat free. Now these are still good options and it means they contain a negligible amount of fat. However, you again want to make sure they haven't made up for that decreased fat content with other added things like sugars. In summary, it's always a good idea to look at the nutrition information panel and ingredients list at the back of each product. This will ensure that the product you're choosing isn't just marketed as a healthy option, but that it actually is a healthy option. And that it's not just low in fat, but it's also low in sugar and sodium. For more information on how to actually interpret a nutrition information panel, see my other video on label reading.